Peggy 18. Now you're ready to sail for the horn. Play, roll and go. The anchor's on board and the cables are scored. <laughs> she fancies you, lad. Dandy, dandy, oh. Come rest the bars, <laughs> <away. laughs> Enjoy your wine and women, lad. For tomorrow we dance with death. We'll be rolling her down through the bay to be rollicking, randy, dandy. These savage seas are filled with fortune and unknown dangers, which most men wouldn't dare face. But we are not most men. We fight the enemies who defy us yeah! and carve our legends in steel. Cannons! Brace yourselves! Starboard, Edward! For across this vast ocean, men fall as pawns or gain infamy as pirates. Attack! Oh, lads! Great! Arm yourselves! How's it going ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy Nerd, the head nerd here, and um, I'm gonna actually do a video for you guys. Alright, so I wanna come clean about this, it has been about a week, yeah, about a week, and recently I've gotten three messages, um, what else, oh I got some Twitter messages as well. I'm gonna come clean guys, I do have an addiction to Assassin's Creed. Um, Assassin's Creed, it goes way back for me, it goes to... Basically there was an Assassin's Creed on the PSP. Um, it was uh, kind of like, you know, uh, Assassin's Creed had that whole, where they had it, where they had a whole nother story for the handhelds, but they also had a story for the console version. Well see, at the time when I started Assassin's Creed, I knew nothing about the Assassin's Creed for the console version. Let alone, I was only the only console that I had when I started playing Assassin's Creed. I was like, God, I was probably like uh, 14 or 15. And my mom had given me a PSP for Christmas one year. And I went and bought... I went and bought all these Assassin's Creed games. And just for the PSP. And it was like, I think it was like two or three that came out for the PSP. And it was really good. The only problem about it is I got hooked immediately, guys. Like, it was ridiculous how fast I got hooked to Assassin's Creed. And it was only for the handheld, like, for handhelds. I knew nothing about this. This is before I knew anything about the console version. Because at the time, the only console that I had was, like, a PS2. And that was courtesy of my uncle giving it to me as, you know, just a gift. He was like, you want a console? You want to start playing video games? Here's a PS2. There you go. So I was still I still had my PS2 like my uh, PSP at the time. So I had played a shit ton of Assassin's Creed on my PSP, and uh, when I finally got the opportunity to upgrade from a like a PS2 to a um, to an Xbox 360, I jumped on it immediately. Immediately the time that I got my Xbox 360, my Assassin's Creed has like from what it used to be for the uh, the handheld. Like I used to play almost all the time. Like I'd spend. 
God, like I'd get in trouble in school because I wasn't paying attention because I just wanted to play my PSP. Sometimes I had to go back down to the school because my PSP would get taken, you know, because middle school and all that other shit. It was like that, and high school's like that as well. Couldn't take electronics because they take them and then they confiscate them, all that bullshit. Well, when I finally got a hold of the 360 and I started playing games and I, um, I made an account for Xbox Live and everything. I, st I started playing f um, the console versions of Assassin's Creed. I started off with Assassin's Creed 1. Um, I waited a while, went to Assassin's Creed 2. Um, then I waited a little bit longer. And um, I, I just started to fall into the whole, oh my god, I can't stop playing Assassin's Creed again. And uh, so what happened was, I've ever since then, I've just been in love with Assassin's Creed. And people ask me all the time, like, I don't, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I got a tattoo of Assassin's Creed there. I've got one on my back as well. Um, the thing about this one is, this is just the original symbol. As you can see, it doesn't have um, the, uh, like, uh, black flag did. It doesn't have the skull in the middle. Uh, the one on my back, though, I got that one done just for Assassin's Creed 4 black flag. And people always think that's a bad thing. They're like, man, you didn't put enough thought into your tattoos, or you just got it done because you, you know, thought you love Assassin's Creed. No, I don't think I love Assassin's Creed. I know I love Assassin's Creed. Because games can keep getting made for Assassin's Creed. I don't care what genre it's in. I don't care what century, time zone, any fucking thing. It's Assassin's Creed. I'm going to play it. And... So I'm finally coming clean about it, guys. I'm admitting to it. I am addicted to Assassin's Creed. I don't care what you guys think. If you're addicted to Assassin's Creed 2, high five to you. I mean, hey, if you even have the symbol here on your arm, you have it somewhere on your body. Brotherhood, man, that's how we do it. You know, our Assassin's Creed people. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my confession about my addiction to games. And the only thing that it really is is my addiction to Assassin's Creed. If you have a fellow or you are addicted to Assassin's Creed as well, comment in the comment section below saying hashtag brotherhood and uh, that will just let me know that you are you know, as much of an Assassin's Creed fan as I am. And uh, when I finally get the chance guys, and a quick update, um, when I finally do get the chance to get my capture card working, I will be uploading, um, since I did ha I have to, I'll go ahead before I mention my thing about my capture card. I will go ahead and let you guys know I did have to make a new gamer tag. I had to delete my old profile and everything because Microsoft would not let me um, upgrade or let me uh, update to the uh, new terms of use for the Xbox Live on my old account because at the time when I made the account I was underage and I had to have a parental email linked to the account. So what happened is I made a random email just out of the blue and made it the parental email account. What happened was I forgot all the information for that account. Like I don't even I didn't even remember the the email address. I didn't remember the password. I remember nothing of it. So when Microsoft saw that, they were just like, "Well, well sir, there's really nothing we can do about it. Um, well, you just have to make a new account." So Microsoft, I hope you fuckers are happy. I made a new goddamn account, and um, so yeah, now I have to make a new account. So what will be happening? Is I know people have, there's plenty of videos of Assassin's Creed 1 and 2 and 3, Brotherhood and Revelations all over YouTube. But you know, when I get a chance for my capture card to start working again, I will slowly be uploading those videos to this channel. And uh, yeah, I, I'm that's just gonna be probably be my first like when I if I do actually get my capture card working, those will be probably my first gameplay videos that will get uploaded to the channel. Um, but other than that guys, that's pretty much the update for now. Um, I want to thank you for watching my channel introduction video. If you haven't watched it yet, please, it'll be in, a link will be in the description to check it out. And as always guys, if you want to keep in contact with me, if you can't get a hold of me through, you know, YouTube messages, um, be sure to like my Facebook page and or follow me on Twitter. And we thank you for watching the video guys. Deuces.